morning, my friends. Welcome back. It is Monday, and we have another great week ahead of us. So why don't we start by singing our hello song. You ready? Let's try it. Here we go. Well, it's so easy to say hello. And it's so easy to say hello. Well, it's so easy to say hello. Say hello to you. Well, we say hello to Emma for today. Hi, Emma. Say hello to Leandro for today. Hi, Leandro. Say hello to Ryan for today. Hello, Ryan. Say hello to you. And we sing hello to Zaid for today. Hi, Zaid. Say hello to Amir for today. Hi, Amir. Say hello to everyone for today. Say hello to you. Well, it's so easy to say hello. And it's so easy to say hello. Well, it's so easy to say hello. We say hello. Hello, my friends. I am so happy to see you today. And what a wild weekend. There was snow. We took snow off of the weather board, right? Because it was so silly. But then we had a bunch of snow. I don't know about you, but I had about a foot of snow up here in uh, close to Barrie. So pretty fun. But I'm hoping we're going to keep having nice sunny days and then spring spring will pop up and the things will start growing and so today we're actually going to be looking at all of our plants and talking about the plants a little bit and how they're growing let's take a look well look at that our seeds are starting to sprout do you see the big circle it's a seed and the things coming out are his little leaves and this one's starting to go too pretty great pretty soon we're going to be able to plant these and see what happens so I think we're gonna try to make another seed sprout today, but it's much, much bigger. All right, friends, so we are gonna try to sprout another seed because it's spring and it's all about things growing. So have you ever had a vegetable like this? Well, it is scaly and this one's a little bit black because it's ready to eat, but sometimes they are bright green and it is an avocado. It's pretty cool. And inside the avocado is its seed. So this morning at breakfast, Carly got an avocado seed. See, it lives right inside, and the part that you eat is all around it. So we are going to try to grow this seed. So this seed, even though it's much bigger than the pepper seeds that I showed you on the window, is the same. So when we put it in water and give it a little bit of warmth, seed should be sprouting from... <gasps> the bottom, the um, the little tendrils, the roots, and then the plant will sprout from the top. So we do this one a special way. So we're going to use a glass. It'd be better if you had a glass that was completely clear, but I don't have one of those right now. So I'm going to use a water glass and some toothpicks and an avocado seed. And that's all you need. So I'm going to take out three sticks. Let's see. I'm going to put one, you're gonna count with me. One. Oops, let's go like this. Two. Th -th three. Three toothpicks. Let's take a look at them. One, two, three. And we are gonna stick them into our avocado. So we make sure that the big end, here I'll put it against my shirt so you can see better is facing down and the littler end is at the top and we're going to try to suspend it in our glass so i'm going to stick it. this is where you need a family member to help you i'm going to try to stick one like that and we're sticking it facing up so that it can be sustained like that another one i'm going to put right here and we try to make it so three can hold the seat up a little tricky but i think we can do it and three right here so let's see if that will stay in our glass. So see how we have the three ends sticking like that. And they're facing 
up with the big end at the bottom, little end at the top, and we're gonna place it in our glass. Oh my gosh, it's staying. Do you see how it's suspended? Now I'm gonna fill up the glass so that just the bottom bit is covered in water. Let's give it a try. So you can do this over the sink or in the kitchen if you want. I'm doing it over a tray. I'm gonna pour, whoa, because I'm definitely spilling my water. But that's okay, sometimes it's an accident. And as long as we're not doing it on purpose, you know? Here we go, <laughs> I'm gonna keep trying. Almost, almost. Oh, and there we go. So we have the bottom of this filled with the water. So why don't I pause it and I'm gonna show you guys a close up view. There of our we go. Pit. It is our avocado pit and it's suspended so that only the bottom part is in the water. Pretty cool. So I'm gonna put this in a sunny place and we're gonna watch it and check back up on it. Great job. Are you ready to look at how seeds grow? So remember, this is our avocado. So this is the giant seed that uh, that's inside of this that we t uh, just planted today, ready? So the avocado has a seed and we put it in water, but we can also plant seeds in the ground or put them in the Ziploc bags and they will all grow. And you know what? Even if we plant them in different ways, they all grow the same. And I wanna show you how that's done. So let's take a look. This is, this is, sorry about that friends. Well, what we're gonna say outside is, so this is the beautiful sky. It's nice and blue and there's a sun in the sky. Cause usually we plant plants in the spring and summer when the sun is out. So there's the sun and there's the sky. So you can also draw this too. The most important thing is this is the line for the ground. And we plant a seed. So I'm going to take my pen and make a nice seed. And this one will go a little bit like the water. So there's my seed. And just like the seed that's in our Ziploc bag, or the seed in our water cup, or the seed we plant outside. All right. And then what do we do? Well the seed gets some water, right? So we put water in the Ziploc bag and we put water in the cup, but everything needs water. Like you also get thirsty sometimes, right? So we make sure there is water on the seed. And where does water come from? Well, it comes from us watering it, but also when it is <gasps> rainy, when it is rainy out, the water comes down and gives it to the seed. Pretty cool. And then what does the seed need? It's rainy, has lots of nutrients from the rain. It needs the sun. So it needs some sunny days. It needs sunny days to grow. So the sun comes down with its rays and goes boop, boop, boop on the seed and gets it nice and warm. And then once it's nice and warm, the coolest things start to happen, but roots come out. And roots are little bits of the plant that come out like this, bing, 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 from the bottom and go into the soil. So can we draw, and we can do it with our fingers if we don't have a thing. Let's draw three roots. So let's draw number three. And how many roots are we gonna draw? Three. So let's give it a try. Count with me. One, two, three. Three roots. Let's count them. One, two, three. Now, what would happen if we added one more root? Ready? So we're going to add one root. So we already have our three. Let's add one more. Ready? We're going to add one more root. Here it comes. Whoa. So how many does that make us? Three? And we add one is one, two, three. One more is four. So we have three and add one. We get four. One, two, three, four. Amazing friends. Would you like to try again with me? So even if you don't have it, you can count with your fingers, right? Let's try it again. Hmm. So how many roots 
should we put on this seed? Why don't we do... Let's see, what number is this? What number is that? Can you tell me? F -f four. So let's draw four roots. You ready? One, two, three, four. Very nice. And then what if we add one more? If we add one more, we're going to draw one, four roots, and then one more. So let's count these. Ready? One, two, three, four. Add one more, and it is five. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. If we had four roots, and we added one more, that makes five roots. Really good. So every time we add just one more, we just add one more. So one, two, three, four, add one more. Five, great job. Do you think you could do that with all sorts of things? Well, you can give it a try. Now, friends, here's the best part. Once the roots have grown and it's gotten enough rain and sun, something very special happens with our plants, which is it starts to grow. Oh, my gosh. And it'll start off just with a little bit of a green stem. Then we might get some leaves. Oh, my gosh, here's some leaves. And then hopefully at the end, depending on what we're growing, we will get a, what's another, oh, here's a good color. We will get a flower. Pretty cool. All that from one little seed. Good job, my friends. Well, we're going to keep an eye on our seeds and we will see what happens. Time for weather. So friends, what do you think it's like out today? Do you want to go to your window and take a look? And do you think it is nice and sunny where it is hot by the window and it's bright outside? Do you think it's cloudy where there's all sorts of clouds and it's a little dark? Or do you think it's rainy where it's wet outside and all that rain's going down to feed those plants and seeds that we were talking about? Let's count to ten and figure it out. Ready? Go to the window for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Well, what is it for you? Because for me, it is a little bit rainy. Can you point to how it is for you today? Is it rainy, cloudy, or sunny? For me, it is rainy. So I'm going to find my column, go up to the first open one, and fill it in. Here we go. And how many days of rainy have I had? One... Ta -ta. two days of rainy. So let's take a look at our graph. Which row here, which column, has the most? Is it cloudy, rainy, or sunny? Let's see. Cloudy has no days on mine anyway. Rainy has one, two days. And sunny has one, two, three Four. Oh my gosh. Well, let's think of this a different way. Which one is more? Which one is bigger? Four or two? Let's think. If I had cookies on my plate, would I want a plate with two cookies or a plate with four cookies? Both would be good. But if I had a plate with four cookies, it'd be way more than a plate with two so this one has more. So there are more days of sunny with one, two, three, four days. But these rainy days are really useful. Good job, my friends. Time for calendar. And it is still the month of, what month is it? Q point, Mama, May, M, 
A. Why? Can we say it together? M. A. Y. Good job. And we had, whoops, a very big weekend this weekend, didn't we? We had Mother's Day weekend. And I hope you guys listened to your moms and aunties and grandmas and gave them big hugs and were very cool. So let's see. And that day was the 10th. So let's see what day today is. And that is the day right here. So first we find the day of the week. So find the day and go up, up, up to what day is that? What day starts with ma and not may. It's a day. So it has the word day in it. Day. It is mama mon day. So let's sing the song. Ready? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, around again. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, it never ends. Sunday, Mama, Monday. So it is Monday, May. Ooh, and there's a tricky day, the day after 10. What comes after 10? I know that's a hard one for a lot of you because it sounds a little different. Let's try. Let's come from the beginning. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. What a silly number. You don't hear it anywhere else. So after ten, it is eleven with a one and then another one. Good job, my friends. And not this week, but next week is still Leandro's birthday. So this is going to be a good month. Good job, my friends. All right. Oh, you know what? I'm going to actually slide myself all the way over here. Are you ready? Let's give it a try. There was a tree. There was a tree in the middle of the woods. In the middle of the woods, most beautiful tree. Most beautiful tree that you ever did see. That you ever did see. And the tree was in the hole, and the hole was in the ground. Green grass grows all around, all around, and the green grass grows all around. And on that tree, and on that tree, there was a branch. There was a branch, the prettiest branch. The prettiest branch that you ever did see. That you ever did see. And the branch on the tree, and the tree was in the hole, and the hole was in the ground. Green grass grows all around, all around. There was a nest, there was a nest, the prettiest nest, the prettiest nest, that you ever did see, that you ever did see. And my nest was on the branch, and the branch was on the tree, and the tree was in the hole, and the hole was in the ground. Green grass grows all around, all around, and the green grass grows all around. And on that nest, and in that nest, there was an egg, there was an egg, the prettiest egg, the prettiest egg, that you ever did see, that you ever did see. And the egg was in the nest, and the nest was on the branch, and the branch was on the tree, and the tree was in the hole, and the hole was in the ground. Green grass grows all around, all around, and the green grass grows all around. And in that egg, and in that egg, there was a bird, there was a bird, the prettiest bird, the prettiest bird, that you ever did see, that you ever did see. And my bird was in the egg, and the egg was in the nest, and the nest was on the branch, and the branch was on the tree. The tree was in the hole, and the hole was in the ground. Green grass grows all around, all around. There was a heart, there was a heart, the prettiest heart, the prettiest heart that you ever did see, that you ever did see. And the heart was in the bird, and the bird was in the egg, and the egg was in the nest, and the nest was on the branch, and the branch was on the tree. The tree was in the hole, and the hole was in the ground. Green grass grows all around, all around, and the green grass grows all around. And in that heart, and in that heart, there was some love, there was some love, the prettiest love, the prettiest love. And the love was in the heart, and the heart was in the bird, and the bird was in the egg, and the egg was in the nest, and the nest was on the branch, and the branch was on the tree. The tree was in the hole, and the hole was in the ground. Green grass grows all around, all around, and the green grass grows all around. Wow. Did you see there were two Carlies? I hope you did the actions along with me. I'm sorry I couldn't tell you about it before, but I'm just learning the software, and it is tricky. But you can always go back and watch it again and try to do the actions again. But I'm going to say goodbye, Amir. Goodbye, Zaid. Goodbye, Leandro. Goodbye, Ryan. Goodbye, Emma. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye.